Good morning, Grants High School. It's Isis and Abe, and we present you The Morning Show. Well, we are two weeks from our second longest break of the year, our winter break. GHS students, with time running out, fix your semester grades. Make sure you are communicating with your teachers, getting to school every day, and turning in your work on time. How do you feel about winter break being in two more weeks? I'm so excited for winter break because, I mean, I don't know, like Christmas, like, ugh. Yes, Christmas. Just... I'm waiting for it to snow so we can have like a snow day before Christmas break. We yeah. got two weeks for a snow day, so hopefully yeah. the snow does come. Just, just to have a break from everything would be really nice. It would be refreshing. Really nice. Yes, like, it so. would. On December 15th, 2023, GHS FCCLA is holding its annual community service jail and bill. Students and staff can pay using a shelf-stable food item to sign out a warrant to have a teacher arrested for four minutes at a time. Teachers and students can then donate a canned food item to post bail. FCCLA members will be in charge of arresting teachers. They will visit the classroom, handcuff the teacher, and remove them from the classroom. The food items received will be donated to the Grants Community Food Pantry. How do you think that's gonna go with all the arresting teachers and everything? <laughs> um, honestly, last year was really fun. You just see like, students coming into your classroom interrupting and then their teachers yeah. being escorted in handcuffs yeah and so it's really funny it's it's something that you guys should really participate in because it's like your teacher being gone for four minutes and who doesn't want that yeah, right? who doesn't want that to have a free yeah class a free time class exactly without, them. without so. them exactly it'd be awesome did you know that most people throw away their used sneakers every 125 to 200 days without ever thinking about recycling did you know that since sneakers are manufactured with materials, they are not biodegradable, they remain in landfills and are inconsiderate, which leads to toxic chemicals in our air and soil? Did you know that the United States at least 200 million pairs of shoes and sneakers end up in landfills each year, and that shoes in landfills can take 30 to 40 years to decompose? Finally, did you know that more than 600 million people worldwide don't even own a pair of shoes? That's for all these reasons that Grants High School Anchors Club is joining the Sneaker Recycling Club in collecting unwanted sneakers, new or used, to prevent them from ending up in our landfills. Please help us by donating your sneakers that would otherwise throw away. At this time, only athletic sneakers are being collected. Please reach out to the Anchors Club member or Miss Gallegos to find out how you can donate your unwanted sneakers. That's honestly so cool how they're doing that because yeah. honestly that's crazy that so many people are without shoes and so many of us have so many pairs of shoes. Yeah. And we don't even realize how blessed we are and some other people don't have exactly. that. Exactly, yeah. Like so. I have so many pairs of shoes that I don't even wear, but just yeah. having them there like makes me yeah. want to donate them You can now, make so. somebody else happy. Yeah, make someone else happy by donating your shoes. Yeah. Hello, I'm JJ Heristic, and I'm going to give you a recap of the girls' varsity tournament they had this weekend in Capital. So their first game was against Hobbs, and they lost that game 87 to 14. Next game they played was against Pecos, they lost that game also 52 to 47. Lastly, they played against Capital, and they lost that game as well 38 to 26. This was probably the best competition that they faced all year. This is probably the best competition that the girls are going to see all year. So expect to see some wins coming in the future. JV also had a tournament this weekend in Wingate. Their first game that they played was against Crown Point, and they lost that game 48-16. They beat Navajo Pine. And their third game, they lost to Zuni 68-24. Delilah Martinez and Olivia Toyvanen were all tourney players for that tournament. C-Team JV and Varsity Girls will be having a home game tomorrow against Kirtland Central, so make sure you go support the team. Hello, I am back again to discuss last week's wrestling meet. As you know, the GHS girls and boys traveled to Capitol High School, and we had our first home meet. The GHS girls did really well at the Capitol meet. A lot of our girls placed in this meet. First place finishers include Cadence Martinez and Sky Shondi. 
Jaylene Warren placed second, Alex Prasamonte and Reina Valdez placed third, and Giselle Salazar finished fourth. One great mention would be Ali Clausen. She performed very well in one of her matches by working hard and winning by points. The girls finished third in the team points out of 16 teams. Now for the home meet we had on Saturday. The girls had another great performance by placing second in the teams. Jaylene Morin placed first in her weight class, Cadence Martinez placed second, and Alex Passamonte, Tristan Martinez, and Paisley Turley all finished third in their respective weight classes. The girls had an excellent turnout over the two <coughs> tournaments. Now on to the GHS boys' side. <coughs> Dang it. <coughs> now on to the GHS boys' side, starting with the capital meet. The boys were in duels and did very well. Kiernan Bell had very good technique and pinned his opponent, while Larry Metter also did well. The boys' technique improved excellently and they used it to their advantage, since they went against 15 other teams. At the home meet, the boys also found success. They placed second overall to the team with help from Manuel Gonzalez and Larry Metter, who placed first in their respective weight classes. Kiernan Bell and Ty both finished second in their weight classes, while Ethan Legler, Tanner Metter, and Uriah Otero all finished third. Now tomorrow, the GHS wrestling team is traveling. They will be going to Sandia High School to complete in the tournament and maybe duels. And that is all we have for you today. Grants High School will present the annual holiday concert an evening in December on Wednesday, December 20th at 7 p.m. at the GHS Auditorium. Admission will be $3. The doors will open at 6.30. The concert will feature the GHS Jazz Band, the GHS Choir, and the GHS Concert and Symphonic Bands. Everyone is invited to come and enjoy an evening full of music. Now we have a message for our ACMA students. Are you interested in the NMSU Aggie experience or checking out your college options? Take an overnight trip to explore NMSU and Las Cruces from February 18th through the 20th. This opportunity is open to ACMA Pueblo students in 11th and 12th grade. There is also a similar opportunity to stay and tour the Colorado State University campus on January 28th through the 30th. But don't wait, spots are limited. For more information, you can call 505-552-6077 and ask for either Leslie Vio or Joni Sanchez, or you can talk to your student success counselor here at GHS. The Pro Start competition team is raising money to attend various competitions. Please visit with Chef Downing or a team member to learn how you can support the team and help them attend this once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you for joining our show, and remember, we, we are GHS for success. success.